Is that the Batwing? Yes. And that's Batman. Alfred looks badass. Yeah, he he's actually is, and he has a cool background. So he's uh, more like a SAS trained and professional mercenary, etc. This is so Arkham style, just just action action fighting. That's cool. Yeah, I think his costume is also inspired by the games. Okay, I have a question. Batman doesn't kill. Yeah, he he, he actually looks like he's he's he injuring likes, people and killing people. Maybe, or, no, yeah. he's he's mortally injuring them, but he's not killing them. Oh, they die yeah, after. So he's letting yeah. them die. Yeah, yeah the they die after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Zombies. March twenty-fourth. The Batmobile is going to drive past Superman. Look at that! He didn't drive fast. He tried the internet. Oh dear. The most, the most like uncanonic uh, super Lex, villain. Lex Luthor. Yes. Nah. I, yeah, think, I, think, I, think I think they will have a twist. They will have a twist. I'm waiting for that. Yeah. Because his name. Is oh, Lex. what the fuck with the bathroom? It's not that up. Jesus Christ. Well, these C movies are like. Ooh, like really Wonder Woman. Hey okay, there. Boobs action incoming. Sex Snyder from Sucker Punch. Yeah, actually, it has some Sucker Punch feel over here, with all this, this shining the over. The, the visuals are very Sucker Punchy. Yep. He's the oh, my punch! He blocked! Oh my god! He has the Superman Buster! I actually. I the fat Batman that. versus yeah, Superman. Batman versus Superman and Donald Justice. So, hey there, campers! Well, it's uh, episode. Geek Amp episode 33. Well, 33! And we here joined by Kane again and Tag, because, well, my usual hosts are missing. Maybe someone kidnapped them, huh? Or maybe they're out drinking with Elfia. Yeah, maybe. Call the police! Well, uh, yeah, and we're we're just checking out and reacting to some trailers for movies and series uh, that are coming our way in 2016. So I have another one, an uh, interesting one, and I think guy, you guys didn't see it. It's the Netflix series of Marvel's Daredevil. And this one has Punisher. So are we going to Netflix and chill? Uh... <laughs> Pun intended. Stop it. One match. One match. One. Two match. Three? The other number will be three? Everything is, is going on in Hell's Kitchen in this series. And Jessica Jones too. <sighs> TV series that I don't watch. You should, you should. I don't like them. Yeah, Daredevil was supposed to be kind of good. so punishing. Where's the skull? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have a skull, I noticed that. Uh, Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> They're Marvel, everything belongs to them, really. There's no connection. Uh. Oh. What? Was the jet shot? I call jet shot. The city needs Batman. Marvel. Marvel, no dead shots in this universe. Check out his costume. Cool. With the port. Yep. This is kinda cool. 
And did you notice that his 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 costume and and, and the mask it's sort of uh, welded together as a sort of a, of, a, of a metal mask, yeah. So so it has a scar of sorts, etc. So I I, I I really enjoyed that he's like battle beaten, yeah, and in, 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 in his costume. That looked interesting no, for a not series. At all. Really? No, not at all. I, I'm I'm seriously like not impressed. Wait, at all. Ooh. 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 I, I, I would, I would rather, I would rather go for like uh, Gotham. Uh, Gotham? <laughs> really, Gotham? Yeah. So the topic here are movies in general based on comic books, and with the new trend after Deadpool getting half a billion uh, in, in 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 box office over over a couple of weeks for an R-rated movie based on comics that's a feat of strength really and well we will just discuss in general some some r-rated comic book movies and what future holds for these kind of movies so guys what do you think i think that we should expect more swear words more swear words more yeah. swearing more uh, dicks dick jokes yeah uh sex on tv uh like i hadn't have enough porn already yeah well it, it may be potentially Superman form, you know? This bad stuff thingy. Do, do you know what I like about Superman? That I never saw him naked and I never want to. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you wanted to see Deadpool naked based on your, your choices of wife who's last, <laughs> last episode, yeah? Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cancerous skin. Oh, sexy. Yeah, yeah. And he's no. super penis. <laughs> Stop with the dick package. jokes. Stop with the Deadpool hey, dick we're, jokes. We're, really. we're getting our rated here, guys. So we have a PG of like audience. Let's stop making bad, dirty jokes. So, what do you think about that tag? So, trend, yeah. I think more studios and more directors will try to cash in on the Deadpool trend of R-rated movies, inserting dick jokes and their chests, their women's breasts in their movies <laughs> with with decapitations and gore, but I think they will miss the point. Yep. I am afraid of that. But so uh, so uh, the thing is, sorry to interrupt. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that I think right now after Deadpool incident, like let's call it that and that <laughs> something like that, uh, people will make R-rated movies just for the sake of R-rated movies, not for uh, creating a more to the original, yeah. So the the uh, last thing that la last news uh, on the subject was that Dawn of Justice, uh, Batman vs Superman, uh, will have a DVD edition that will be R-rated. With naked Wonder Woman? I don't know. Maybe. I think maybe with some blood splatters and maybe broken. Yeah. Necks so it's more gore, like I think. Yeah. So so. Maybe they will show that. Superman bleeds. Uh, I would rather go with the naked one woman because I hate her costume. You don't like? No, I don't. Gal, like... Gal Gadot. They, 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 her portrayal of that. I don't like Wonder Woman at all, and I don't like Superman at all. So basically, I'm on the hate team over here. No, you basically hate the DC because you're Marvel. No, I actually love and adore some of the characters that DC has, but like. Wonder Woman and Superman is just not my thing. Okay, are those uh, characters from DC, are they R-rated comics or from just, just general E-rated? I can I actually cannot tell. Like, uh, my favorite characters in DC uh, will be actually pretty like basic and uh, common characters like Batman for example like well, okay. he's, 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 he's not common because he has some some gore going on and and you know based on other news yeah there will be a killing killing joke animated movie that will be R rated for example and what i really want to see like the characters that i really want to see R rated like are, they are like meant to be R rated for example yes. Joker and Harley yes. Quinn it's like this pair or whatever this duo is like totally amazing i expect good results and a lot of uh, hype going and uh, i hope they will meet the 
uh, my expectations with the Suicide Squad, which won't be R-rated. Yeah, by the way, it's by the way they, they told it won't be R-rated, but and maybe with the Deadpool incident they will insert some R-rated scenes into it. Too. I think it's already filmed, but I think that they will consider making a sequel R-rated. Uh, I think if they will get some money from their 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 first box office and will understand that it didn't gel well well didn't gel that good with the audience of PG-13 yeah maybe R will be their way because I think this is the thing how you should portray a success exactly that's my thought yeah, they're all killers, they should kill. Yeah, kill show blood. I mean, have you kill. seen the comics? It's like, whoa, they're doing pretty wicked stuff. Yeah, core, well, core. I saw the animated feature film, Suicide so Squad Attack on Arkham or something like that. I cannot recall, actually. Yeah, uh, it's a story about the Suicide Squad. There are all of the characters, including Killer Frost. Mm -hmm. Which is spoilers will be killed off because she's my character. Shh. <laughs> Just I'll like I'll, I'll, I'll mute you. Mute. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you should check it out and see if you like the Suicide Squad as a concept and go see the movie for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, do you recall any examples of R-rated movies based on comics? I think there were a lot of movies uh, that. Pro. Didn't... Yeah, The Crow was, first, was, was... I think it was one of the first R-rated As I movies, recall, the, the first on... The, the first one was Blade, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think Blade. Yeah, well, Blade was in 1998, I think. And yeah. The Crow was in 96. I don't remember, but well, yeah. maybe, maybe we'll check it no, out. I'm, I'm just standing by my... Yeah, yeah, but there were one of the first ones that, that were, were... I, I think I, I wasn't there when I saw so the first one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're outlaws. Uh, yeah, and any other? Uh, was Punisher... What was, was Punisher? I'm not sure that Punisher was R-rated. Yeah, I'm not sure as well. I've seen the movie and I can't say that it was like... Anyhow, as gruesome as the game was. <laughs> yeah, with the executions. Yeah. I mean, like, the game w was, yeah. like, literally yeah, okay. yeah. more R rated. Manhunter. Than... Manhunt man yes, uh, yeah, levels yeah. of gore. Oh, yeah, Manhunt. God damn it, I like the torturing so much there. Like, look at this, I'm, I'm shaking knives. Remember that torture? Yeah. You just like put a guy on the table and there's like this stand with uh, hanging on uh, with knives and you start shaking the knives and they just fell randomly near your face. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well... There weren't that much movies because they weren't ready back then to, 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 to see the potential as Deadpool did. Yeah, so yeah. But I think it will change and then we will see more movies because there are always Avengers that are just flashy thing for kids that you just look at cool Iron Man I mean, and Hulk doing stuff. Yeah, and they have, they have Captain America that is all about no swear words. Yeah, yeah, that, that oh, was that was kind of weird and awkward, to be honest, on, on the on the last last uh, uh, Avengers movie. But uh, what do you think about the the upcoming movie of, 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 of um, uh, Civil War? Because it's more more of a grown up thing. They are not just entertainment. Well, it's for not. Kids. It's not an Avengers movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Captain, Captain America. America movie. So I don't think there will be any swear words in a Captain America movie. Yeah, but maybe, maybe uh, the Tony Stark will just uh, swear in the sake of swearing to get his uh, ass kicked by with a reason, not because he's white. Well, he, he's <laughs> <laughs> political jokes. Are no, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, but. I think I think comic comic book movies going that way is is, is an interesting thing because I uh, I think that it will be used willy nilly by all the Hollywoods for a year, but when it will stop, 
will see some quality content like Deadpool that know why they are rated, not just are rated. Are rated for the sake for of the sake of that. Being edgy. Yeah. And being close to the source material is always a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, any other comics that, that you want to see uh, on a screen? Maybe a series, maybe a movie? I because we were talking a bit before I about one Recently, coming. I finished the first arc of the Swamp Thing. Swamp thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's a DC comics and I would really like to see it on the big screen with all the special effects of, of the grass and trees and the green avatar. Uh, yes, but be cool. yeah, would, would you yeah. like to see it R-rated? Well, it's hard to make it not R-rated because the antagonist of this, the whole franchise, is the corruption and dead flesh. So, gore is the enemy in this movie. But what about uh, the Hell Rider or how Hell Razor? Hell Razor. No, 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 Ghost Rider. No, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider movie. Was it R rated or not? No, it was, was not. It was for kids? Yes. Yeah, damn. yes. It was. They had to make it bloody. Bloody hell! Well, I don't know how they managed it, but a flaming skull on a motorcycle was. Well, Which yeah, has not has Which nothing changed. to do with gore, yeah. Swamp Thing as a PG movie or a series, it will be like a Greenpeace uh, of a Captain Planet. If you make a Captain Planet movie, yeah. So it will be the same thing, uh, just a green guy fighting those evil basically, corporations. Basically, who... Groot. Yeah, Groot. <laughs> it, it is a Groot movie. Uh, are, okay, it will be a Groot movie. Yeah, really about a, a tree thing growing trees and fighting the evil corporations that cut down the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, do you have any 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 candidates for an R-rated comic book adaptation? Yes. Do, do share. Do share. Deathstroke, please really? make Deathstroke movie at least now because it's like. Deathstroke is so underrated by everyone. Nobody knows that he's actually powerful enough to kick s s Batman's ass with Nightwing at the same time. And he literally, like, he's the most violent mercenary ever. He uses a sword, guns, and he, like, smashes heads through the roof. He uses dirty jokes. He's just all out bad. To, to Do you want him to be portrayed by. Will Smith? <laughs> Have you... Oh no, no, no never mind, never mind. Yeah. I just remembered about the uh, Shields... Uh, in introduction with the... With the... The new... How was his name? The director of Shield? What's Samuel... Uh, Samuel L. Jackson portrayed wait. him. Yeah. Really? Uh, well, first of all, Deathstroke, not Deadshot. Yes, Deathstroke, so, uh, not Deadshot. Uh, Deathshot is part of the Suicide Squad. Uh, Deathstroke is the guy with the mask when he one part is orange, the other part is black, and he has one eye, etc. He was in, in, the, in the Arkham games, etc. You remember him with the katana? Uh, katana. The guy, the guy, mercenary, <laughs> like uh, one eyed. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he he's very often uh, compared to Deadpool because they're both mercenaries of same sort of a healing factor because he has sort of a healing yeah, factor. Yeah, but of, it's 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 basically not even like compared to the yeah, level of, of course, Deadpool. Of course, okay, of course. What what could be the the, the, the story of this character will it be, in your opinion, will it work as a like a backstory? Yeah, an origin story. Origin or... story, or just him fighting some evil doer? Or and good, and good he doer. will. And, and, and how would you prepare, uh, portray? Because this stroke is is a bad guy. Yeah, he's a villain, basically. Well, and how could you make a movie about the villain? The that thing would... is, the thing is, he's not like your typical villain. Yeah. Uh, so basically, he's being forced. He's a mercenary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's being forced to be mean because he has no other options. He lives uh, on only skills that he has. So basically, what he does best is killing. Yeah. He cannot do anything else. So he's like in a situation here that he hasn't got any other options. I mean, he could be a superhero, but. 
how can how he will feed his family. He has a daughter. She needs to eat something, and like her father. Oh wait a second, what he does? He kills people for money. His healing uh, is what so he does. So it, it will be just an antagonist movie, just like Deadpool, because Deadpool. In his Deadpool movie, he's not a villain. He's an antagonist. Anti-hero. Anti-hero. I see it more like a. Uh, uh, DC style because DC likes stuff dark. Yeah, and I see it like this. For example, it's a background he's, story. He's from DC, yeah. So that's that's, that's why I'm <laughs> pointing out the obvious. So basically, as I see it, it we take this hero. Yeah. Uh, we showed like all of the bad things that happened to him, like we did with Deadpool. Like, oh, he has drama. He can do yeah, shit. He, he, he can only kill. Blah blah blah. Uh, show his daughter like a uh, drum of uh, his wife killing, uh, losing an eye to arrow, blah blah blah. And then we show him from a different perspective. For example, from a Batman's perspective. Like, for example, uh, he goes on a mission. He doesn't really care if the guy is good or bad. He wants to kill him. And he's being stopped by Batman. And Batman uh, tries to, for example, uh, get him to like the good side and you know this kind of stuff mm -hmm. okay why can't he become a mercenary for for the government uh, because have you seen how much heroes is in Gotham or in any other DC series it's like there is no point in that because the they army? do stuff for free well this is basically suicide squad Villains no, that no, are no, under no. government. No, 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 no. Why did he start uh, his mercenary business if he could go work for the government? Because as a mercenary, as a mercenary for the government, because he will be for the government. Government, but he worked for the government as well. Yeah, uh, he actually takes any job. This, 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 yeah. is, this is the point of mercenary. He, he, he doesn't have any affiliations at all, or maybe the army. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was in the army. That's why he's why he got and the super. Why didn't why didn't he stay in the army? Well, he got kicked out basically. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's for that's, his yeah. skills. That's, that's already character de development. Uh, Let's not yeah. go very deep in here. But I see your point, and I think uh, this 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 character doesn't have enough love because I really enjoyed uh, him in Arrow series. He, he was pr pr pretty pretty cool yeah and based and by the way uh, I did watch uh, the last episode of DC's uh, uh, Heroes of Tomorrow yeah, the Legends of Tomorrow uh, and uh, they show they show uh, Deathstroke and his son in in the costume in some future and, and and there is even even an old Oliver Queen without an arm. That's a, a cool episode. I really recommend you guys and and, and you just check it out. Uh, it was seventh episode, I think. Yeah. Uh, and I think the the character has 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 his potential. And to be honest, in comparison of Variant Comics, another YouTube channel that that is talking about comics, uh, he compared Deathstroke to Deadpool. And in this battle. Well, based on skills, etc. Uh, the guy, the, the the guy from from this channel said that that Deathstroke would win that one. Yes, uh, exactly. He's a master tactician. He is well trained on the same level as uh, Wade, and I think based on just his knowledge and instability of Deadpool, that could just go nuts any moment. Uh, well, Deathstroke has more options to win. Actually, uh, in I, I will tell you more just about the character because uh, I see you guys don't really know much about him. Like the thing is uh, that he is powerful enough uh, actually to uh, overpower like most of these uh, non-superpowered heroes. Yeah. Uh, plainly because he's uh, he's more sustainable. He can sustain better trainings. He's uh, brain works faster and he make uh, he can make decisions and anal uh, analysis in his head way faster than Batman can. This is exactly why in the comic book he faced Batman himself. Uh, Batman was a little bit injured but as always. And Nightwing at the same time. He fought them both at the same time being one-eyed and he didn't lose the battle. Do you understand how powerful this character actually is? 
So basically, this is the reason why Deadpool could not like apprehend him. Pretty he cool. has, uh, he uses his healing factor not just as a healing factor as Deadpool, like for example, to healing a wound. He actually uses uh, to maintain the armor that he has. He has plates on him that are actually bad for you. For example, if a normal human being would wear those uh, plates, he would die in like a month or so because they are toxic. So basically, he's using his healing factor to make him even even more invincible, and he thinks ahead all the time. He can make up a plan from nothing, like in the middle yeah, of you, the battle. You sold me on the on this character. I will research him. So Mac, uh, what is your opinion on the comic books that should be turned into movies? Oh, comic books should be turned into movies. Yeah. yeah. This that's 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 an interesting question because well uh, I think I think I would like to see uh, a reboot of John Constantine the the, the, the Hellraiser that stuff yeah a movie? I, I I think yeah I want to see a movie not a series yeah because series will die because yes. it's it's basically supernatural yeah but when you and have supernatural why do you I think I think it's 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 a one time thing yeah because uh, w when when I see uh, when I hear uh, Oliver Queen in Arrow series mentioning that oh uh, John Constantine he's in hell no literally hell I want to see that yeah because what I saw in the series that they tried to to make yeah it was it was just like we remember we well, on the last course. episode that that we were, we were talking about the the Gra gra gravity falls yeah so in an ordinary world but they just just jump from from topic to topic on the hell thing and the real world thing it's kind of lame yeah that's why i want to see go out just like uh, keanu reeves did but make it more so it go very popular and go mainstream just like that the that did. yeah and different, I want... different strokes Maybe, maybe. Because Constantine is a complex character with a tragic backstory. Background, yeah. You have to build up this character so the audience yeah. will... Can cancer thing, feel. cancer is really popular among these heroes. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but, uh, but Constantine uh, having your whole family die and... Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. after, you, after you die you have like three chances out of one that you will go to hell because hell really wants you yep yep uh, but yeah I, I, would, I would like to see more and more because portraying pg-13 hell this is like like just silly pure silly yeah and i think that that just did, just just the visuals they did need, a need creative uh, look on the hell and the in, the, in the movie in the movie yeah yeah i really like that i just, think it's, it's underrated the, the second of a nuclear blast yeah. that destroys the world so. yeah yeah uh well yeah yeah that, that's, that's something out of my head but i think there there are a lot of stuff uh considering the the, the killing joke so there will be an animated movie uh, of, 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 of the killing joke I know that you didn't like it but I think that's it, it could go that way and it's uh, R-rated in a social way in the, all the portrayal of, 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 of the, the sense of, of the Joker yeah it's maybe the story is not that 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 cool as you may think yeah but I think that's it's worth an R-rated uh, styling uh, yeah but yeah, I think that's all. I can only say one thing about the killing joke. You have to remember that only because of the killing joke we have Oracle. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a good point. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think that's that's that was a cool topic uh, that we discussed. And hey guys, what do you think? What series? Uh, what comic could become a series or a? movie that will be R-rated and well maybe you can share anything that are coming our way that will be R-rated well comment down below like and subscribe right. click on the supportive links uh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, description yeah. below yeah subscribe to our channel like our facebook page and, and just do stuff uh, well I think it's time to take out the fire thank you guys for backing me up once again and well I see you you guys in the next episode I think and yep. you too bye bye
na 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 na